This is the UK5 float line in St Helens, UK, where Pilkington branded glass is manufactured for the British market and beyond. It was here in St Helens that the float glass process was invented by Sir Alistair Pilkington in 1952, and 550 tonnes of glass is still made here every single day. In these videos, we'll meet some of the engineers who run the operation and learn how they maintain excellent standards of quality, efficiency and safety 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This first chapter covers the very start of the process, in which the raw materials are delivered, mixed and brought up to melting temperature in the furnace. I'm Andy Hiller, I'm the raw material and melting manager at Greengate. All the raw materials come into the plant by road. Roughly 150 deliveries a week come into the plant. It's accurately weighed out into five tonne batches, mixed and sent to the furnace via conveyor belts. The furnace consists of five major operations. The first operation is the feeder at the front of the furnace, which puts the batch and colour into the furnace. That's effectively like a large Penny Falls machine and just pushes the batch under the front of the furnace to where the flames are. The second section behind me is the largest section. This is the melting area. And that's where the, the gas is burnt and the combustion air is mixed with it to give temperatures of 1600 degrees. And the aim is to melt the silica sand in the batch without melting the silica in the furnace. So by the end of the fired area, the, it should be good, clean quality glass with 1500 degrees temperature. In the third section, which is the refiner, the glass basically just cools naturally from 1500 degrees to 1400 degrees. And that's the, that's the area where the bubbles rise out of the glass. And at the end of the, that section, you've got refined glass with, with no bubbles in it. The fourth section is the waste. The aim of the waste is to restrict the flow of the glass to the final section and that's achieved by taking glass from the bottom half of the furnace through a relatively narrow area and that draws glass at 1200 degrees into the final conditioning stage of the process and leaves all the hottest glass in the furnace. In the final stage the glass is cooled by forced air cooling from 1200 degrees to 1100 degrees by blowing cold air on its surface and the temperature of the glass at the end of that process is very carefully controlled by automatically adjusting the air and it keeps the glass at a very constant temperature close to 1100 degrees ready for pouring onto the molten tin. The furnace is designed to produce between 600 and 800 tonnes of glass a day so at the average if it was doing about 700 tonnes a day you'd put in over a year a quarter million tonnes of raw materials and that will produce about 200,000 tonnes of saleable glass.